Hello everyone, my name is Dr. Golnaz Ranjbar and today we are going to give a brief presentation about our research article entitled Dietary Patterns in Relation to Hepatic Fibrosis Among Patients with NAFLD. So here is a brief background. Non-alcoholic fatty liver disease, which is abbreviated as NAFLD, currently affects about 25% of adults and 70% of children in the general population around the world. And NAFLD is a multifactorial disorder which can progress to fibrosis in 64% of the cases. Several dietary patterns have been associated with histological features of NAFLD according to previous studies. However, little is known about the association between dietary patterns and hepatic fibrosis. So our main purpose was to study and identify the relationship between major dietary patterns and hepatic fibrosis among patients with NAFLD. So in this cross-sectional study, we recruited 170 eligible subjects who were diagnosed with NAFLD and the diet was evaluated by using a three-day dietary record during a one-month period and hepatic fibrosis was diagnosed by using Fibroscan. And three dietary patterns were extracted by using factor, um, factor analysis method. Western dietary pattern is shown as here, a high intake of red meat, soft drinks, potato, eggs, refined grains, and white meat were consumed, whereas in Iranian dietary pattern, refined grains, hydrogenated fats, coffee and tea, legumes, high fat dairy, sugar and white meat were highly consumed. And in the healthy dietary pattern, as you can see, a high intake of fruits, vegetables, vegetable oil, nuts and low fat dairy plus white meat were consumed. So we came to know that after adjustment for other risk factors, the high adherence to the Western dietary pattern was associated with higher odds of fibrosis, whereas the high adherence to the healthy dietary pattern was associated with lower odds of fibrosis compared to the low adherence group. And after this analysis, among main food groups, high intake of red meat, hydrogenated fats, and soft drinks were associated with the higher risk of fibrosis, whereas tea and coffee consumption had a protective role in hepatic fibrosis independent of the other risk factors. So we came to know that the adherence to a healthy dietary pattern is characterized by high intake of low fat dairy, white meat, nuts, vegetables, fruits, and vegetable oil combined with coffee and tea consumption might be helpful in the nutritional strategies against hepatic fibrosis. Many thanks for your attention.